Good morning, Health Nuts. Uh, today is Tuesday, and it is the last full day that I am by myself, and Mr. Matt is in Asia, so I thought it would be fun to just film like a what I eat in a day for one, since obviously I'm not cooking for more than one person right now. I know a lot of you guys have asked me for like single person recipes. And to be honest, I do like a lot of leftovers and stuff when I'm just by myself. But uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm making today. So I'm just gonna do this on the fly. Um, I do have to go up north for a dentist appointment later. So I'm probably gonna have dinner up there. Um, but I will share with you guys what I'm gonna eat. So it is. It's 8.20, so I've been up for about half an hour, uh, just drinking water and I was setting up the camera equipment. Uh, but I'm boiling some water right now to make uh, just some lemon water. I haven't done it in a while and I just feel like I need, I'm craving some lemon water right now. So I'm gonna boil that and, uh, and then I don't know what I'm gonna make. Probably my herbal coffee, maybe a smoothie. I have lots of stuff in the fridge that I can blend up. And so like I said, very casual, day in the life, what I eat in a day style. Um, water is boiling, I can hear it. Okay, let's make our lemon water. <laughs> so to make my lemon water, you guys have seen this many times before, I'll boil some water and then squeeze some lemon juice into a cup, fill it with some tap water or filtered water, add in a little bit of boiling water just to kind of warm it up a bit and I like to drink mine through a straw. And I'll just kind of sip on that while I'm doing my journaling and stuff and looking at emails. Next, I'm making my health nut coconut coffee. In my blender, I'm adding in my herbal coffee, a scoop of grass-fed collagen, some coconut butter. You can also use coconut oil. I'm putting in about one and a half cups of hot boiling water, a little bit of coconut sugar. Maple syrup also works really well. And I'm gonna pop on the lid and give it a nice good blend. And this is gonna just emulsify the coconut butter with all the ingredients and it's gonna get nice and frothy. And it's just a nice warming drink to have in the morning and it's delicious. And I burnt myself. <laughs> so I ended up just making my health nut coconut coffee, which is basically blended up herbal coffee, uh, collagen, um, this time I put coconut butter instead of coconut oil because I've been really loving that lately. You would have seen in my uh, winter favorites uh, video. All right, so I'm gonna go do some emails, take a shower, I'll be all fresh and clean when you see me next. Probably gonna have a smoothie for breakfast because that's just easy. It's gonna use up the stuff I have in the fridge. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so I'm out of the shower. I'm just gonna let my hair air dry for a little bit before I blow dry it and do my makeup. But I thought I would make my smoothie now because it is 9.30 and I'm getting hungry. So I'm gonna grab, actually I'm gonna wash my blender because it's still, still in the sink from this morning. I'm gonna grab it, grab all my goodies that I'm gonna throw in and uh, let's make a smoothie, shall we? Okay, I'm gonna go, I'll be back. Grab my stuff. In my blender, I'm adding in some baby spinach, cucumber that I peeled. If I'm not using organic, I usually try to peel it. Some hemp oil, which is a great source of omega threes and sixes. So good for your skin. Hawaiian spirulina powder, a big dollop of almond butter, a couple of Brazil nuts, flaxseed, collagen, cinnamon, frozen banana, frozen pineapple, an ice cube just because. And then I just fill it up with some water and give it a good blend. Normally, I don't have collagen twice in the morning, but I think I ran out of protein powder, so I just use that instead. But usually, I will kind of make sure just to switch it up. Pouring it into my Health Nut tumbler here. I love this tumbler. It fits so much smoothie in it. All right, so it is about 12.30, and I figured I'll have a bit of an earlier lunch than I usually do because I want to head up north before there's traffic. So if you don't drive in the city, um, then you might not know the DVP is basically, I think they call it the uh, the Don Valley parking lot because it's it's like the Don Valley Parkway, but it's like a parking lot when it gets busy. You're just bumper to bumper the whole way, so I definitely want to try and avoid that if I can. Uh, but yeah, for lunch, I know I have some leftovers in the fridge. Now, when you're cooking for one, I think it's really important to do a meal prep in the beginning of the week because that way you don't have to like make a full meal every single, or like three times a day. Like no one has time for that when you're cooking for yourself. And then you have so many leftovers. So the best thing is start like cooking in the beginning of the week, make a couple meals, like cook up a batch of quinoa, chop up some kale, 
things that are gonna be good staples to add into different meals throughout the rest of the week. So uh, I know I have some weird odds and ends in the fridge, so I'm gonna pull it out and just kind of put together some kind of bowl that I'm gonna have for lunch uh, that's gonna be super quick and simple. So I'll be right back. Here's what I'm thinking. I have some of this roasted up uh, acorn squash that I did the other day. That's gonna be perfect. I love to just like roast a ton of veggies ahead of time. I have some chicken. Uh, I can throw that in for some protein, and then I have just like a mix of um, kale, quinoa, some frozen peas and beans um, that I made the other day that I still have leftovers of. And then just for some like healthy probiotics, because I feel like I don't get enough of those in my diet lately, I'm going to throw some of this uh, sauerkraut uh, from Farmhouse Culture. So I'm going to put together kind of a bowl and show you guys what I usually do with my leftovers or like Sunday meal prep um, staples that I kind of just put together. Uh, I'll bring the camera closer, you guys can see. All right, so this is my lunch, super nutritious. It's kind of like, now that I'm looking at it, it's kind of like a macro bowl where you have like your greens, your carbs, your protein. And I love things like quinoa and kale because like they will last in the fridge for quite a while without getting soggy. Mm -mm -mm. So good, okay. I'm gonna go eat this <laughs> and um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so I just finished lunch. I'm just drinking some more water. Basically what I drink all day is water, herbal tea, and smoothies. Um, I like my liquids, and yes, I pee a lot. So a lot of you guys ask about like supplements and stuff, and I have a whole uh, vitamin routine video of like, an ex like all the vitamins that I take. Um, I don't take them every single day. And lately, my vitamin regimen has been really simple. I've really just been taking these two products. This one here is Vital Proteins, their Beauty Boost, and it's basically kind of like a B complex with biotin and stuff. Yeah, so I've been taking this, I've been really liking it. And then this guy here, this is, I take every single day, almost every single day without fail. And this is uh, by J Jaro Formulas, it's MegMind. And the best way for me to describe this is that it's like um, magnesium for the mind. A lot of regular magnesium is to relax like body aches, muscles, and stuff like that. Uh, this one is I, what I think more for the mind. Um, I will link both of these down below, but I usually do take a vitamin C, but I'm all out. So I'm gonna pick up vitamin C and fish oil when I go to the health food store. So yeah, that's my vitamin routine. I just about have all my things packed and ready to go. So I'm gonna hit the road and fingers crossed, there's not a lot of traffic. So I'm gonna switch over to the vlog camera now because I'm not gonna bring the big DSLR with me on the go. I'm not that intensive a vlogger yet, but uh, let's hit the road. All right, so I just got to my dentist, um, but I want to let you guys know what I ate because I totally forgot to record it. I went to Starbucks, I had a meeting. Also, then my mom and my aunt came and met me because I haven't seen them in a bit. And we just had teas. I had, um, actually I had two teas because I was there a little bit earlier than them. I had the iced passion tea, unsweetened, and then I also got the uh, peach tranquility one, which is like a chamomile and peach tea. It's really good. And then I'll have Chloe pop in the photos. I ate those like egg souffle, souffle things. I don't know what the name is. I got the egg white with red pepper. It was so good. They're like little egg white patties. And then I had the peppercorn cashews. So Chloe, insert photos here. All right, so I just got home. It is uh, embarrassingly late, uh, it may be 9.30. And uh, yeah, so I ended up, I was supposed to eat dinner at Nature's Emporium, but my dentist appointment took longer. So I ended up just telling my mom and my aunt to eat without me. And then I ended up still going there to get a few things that I needed. Um, but I grabbed dinner just on the go. So this is my dinner. Cause it's like better than say picking up takeout because all the stuff is like cooked in the grocery store. And, uh, and I think they use like all organic ingredients. It's basically like a Whole Foods, but but not. Spilt a bit in the car. So I got a mushroom barley soup, and then I picked up uh, just from their hot food section. I'll show you guys a close up. I got some chicken. I have some olives, uh, potatoes, and some beans, and some sprouts. Oh, and edamame. So. I felt like soup, but I knew soup wasn't gonna fill me up. So I got that. And then I'll show you my snacks later. I got some snacks. 
All right, so let's do a little taste test. This looks really good. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. All right, guys, it is about 11.15, so it's pretty late. I just spoke with Matt. He's actually just heading to the airport, and then he's flying back home. Uh, yeah, it's crazy that he's like heading home today, but for me, it's gonna be tomorrow. I'm going to make, I'm just boiling some water. I'm gonna make a tea in my huge Minnie Mouse mug that I got um, from Florida. And I'm gonna have some of this Celestial Seasonings tea. Honestly, this is one of those teas, and I've worked with this brand before, and I mentioned it in the video. It is so nostalgic to me. Like, I just opened up a fresh new uh, box because I've been drinking it a lot lately at night to wind down, but like, it just smells like my childhood. The This one is like, it's called Sleepy Time Tea. I know a lot of people grew up on this. I was gonna have a snack, but I just scarfed down that dinner I got while I was chatting with Matt, and I'm not really hungry because I had a late dinner. Uh, but yeah, it was a great day of food. Uh, I feel very full right now, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys ate today. Let me know if you guys enjoy these What I Eat In A Day videos. Uh, they're a lot of fun to film, super casual. I kind of just set up the camera in my kitchen and then just pop on here when I eat something. So it's really fun for me and it just feels like I'm hanging out with you guys in my kitchen while eating. So it's a win-win for me. So let me know if you guys enjoy it and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a fabulous day and I will see you guys soon. Bye guys.